What's going on, everyone? It's Bobo here for Crisis in the Toyverse, and today on the show, we're freaking out, freak out, freak out, dude. We're talking Avengers Endgame, and we are talking about the Elmo Draft House and Mondo Pint Glass. Now, this thing was available exclusively over at the Alamo Draft House, so if you don't have one in your area, you're kind of up a creek without a paddle. Uh, all joking aside, it is a very beautiful glass. As for the movie, I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone. So everyone, don't freak out, freak out. But I enjoyed it. It was fun. It's not the most important thing to me. But it was cool. Now, as for the glass, something that works great for the comic book hipster because it has a comic book feel to it. And all hipster joking aside... I really do like the way this glass turned out in that regard. The artwork really pops. It looks nice. And it's actually one of my personal favorite glasses that the Elmo has put out already. And I'm not even that big of a Marvel fan. But like I said, it is a very cool glass. There's a lot of cool stuff going on with it. Like, for example, all the Infinity Stones are laid out throughout the glass. You have the Fallen Avengers with the remaining Avengers. It's just really something unique and, you know, a nice little touch that the team at Mondo and Alamo did to really bring this glass to life, which is always a nice thing. So, overall, you know, the glass is very satisfying. Once again, I do apologize for those who were not able to pick one up because it actually is a very decent glass. Now, in terms of comparison here, of course, I have... Infinity War and Endgame side by side. I understand they're two different movies in some ways. They're actually like Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 in a way. And if you really want to break it down, that's just one big long story finishing up. But personally, I think the Endgame glass really hit it out of the park. It's a very satisfying piece of a collectible art that you can either enjoy a frosty brew with or you can just leave on a shelf and really do nothing with it and let it collect us. But, you know, guys, I think that's going to do it for the review today. Um, if you want to pick this up, you're going to have to head to eBay or find somebody who has an Alamo near them with glasses available. Uh, with that being said, though, I mean, if you got the money for it, pick it up. Um, I do want to say thank you for everyone for stopping by. It does mean the world, as always. If you get some free time, check out some of the amazing people who make this show possible and all the great fun that goes with that. Guys, I'm not going to have a slideshow at the end. The only way to finish this off is by showing the cup in action. So take care. Until next time, great googly moogly.